So anyway, I'd like to call this a uh, special meeting of the Northfield Township Board on March 13th to order. Um, does anyone like to offer an invocation at this time? No? Yeah, yeah. All right, I will. Um, yeah. Dear God, we ask your blessing on this um, meeting tonight. Uh, give us wisdom. Uh, Help us to nothing. serve our um, residents well. Amen. Is it on? Can't hear. It was She's flipped on. on. Is this sitting here? Yeah. I think it's on. When there's nothing coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's get you a different one. Okay. That's the one Jim handed to me. Sure. Can you, can Don't hear it? Well, we'll go this way. Nothing through the headphones? How about now? Hello. Can you hear this? No. Yeah, it seemed, I don't know why they're, <coughs> with this problem everybody. Want us to talk into the microphone so you can <laughs> make sure they're working? That one works? Those ones are working. Ah. Well, we had one on and one off. Yeah, good. I see. There you go. This hmm. one should work. Thank you. Okay. Microphone check. Okay. Um, please stand for the pledge. Please call the roll clerk, Manley. Bellager. Here. Docket. Here. Selenak. Present. Shockley. Here. Manley here. Otto. Here. And Chick is absent with notice. Yes. Okay. Can I have a motion to adopt the balance of the agenda? Uh, Madam oh. Supervisor. Yes. Um, could you just add written to the uh, agenda item for the closed session? Should be a written attorney client privilege communication. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I would like to amend uh, the agenda to uh, include agenda item closed session to receive a written attorney client privilege communication pursuant to MCL 152688H. Support. Okay, so motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, we now have an opportunity for call to the public. Do we have anyone here, any members of the public? Seeing no one. Uh, moving on um, to board member comments. Do we have any board member comments at this time? Seeing none. Uh, oh. Yes, yeah, so I would like to know if, if at the next meeting we can uh, have a little chat about coming and staying later instead of trying to get here at 6. It's pretty difficult for me anyway, and most of us work, so... It'd be better for me if we stayed later at night, but I'd like to get to what the rest of the board thinks, so we'll okay. talk about it, maybe. Okay, we'll talk about that if we have time at our next meeting. Okay, um, any other comments then? All right, um, correspondence and announcements is, well, there's no announcements and we have the correspondence in our packet. Um, I'd like to make a motion to go into closed session to re receive an attorney-client privileged communication pursuant to MCL 152688H. Support. Okay. Written. Written. Thank you. Attorney-client. Okay. Motion by Chuck. We support by Bellager. Discussion. Any more dis any discussion? Just so I want to make sure that you're recommending it from our attorneys that we do this and we don't do this in an open session. We are. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, um, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, we're going into closed session. Um.
zoning. How far? Okay. South of um, North Territorial to Regal. No, I would stop at them. Okay. And then make sure it's consistent, compliant with the master plan. Hello, Hello Betty. How are you? I did call you back then. Are you Bonnie? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I didn't catch the date that you were saying because you were laughing and you said November, yeah. but I didn't catch the day. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll get you off of that. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, when we go into the next, we have to finish up the closed session first. Okay. I'd like to call this special uh, meeting of the Northfield Township Board back to order. So we now have an opportunity for uh, some possible action as a result of our closed session, and so we have a motion here by um, Ms. Zelnock. Let's see if I can get this right. So I would like to make a motion to defer to the Planning Commission and the, our planner to consider potential rezoning of the property al um, along Whitmer Lake Road, south of North Terriel, to re Regal Recycling to Light Industrial and consider and make sure it is compliant with our current master plan. I'll support. Okay, so we have a motion by Ms. Zelnock and support by Ms. Otto. Um, were you able to get all of that, Ms. Lumble? Um, is it Regal Recycling? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the company you want to yeah. put there? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the furthest south. You said from North Territorial? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have an opportunity for discussion. Mr. Dockett. Either that mean we can discuss what we talked about in closed session? No. Why not? If we're, if we're in open session right now. We're in open session for this motion. For this motion. Well, I think we can talk about Broadscape. You can talk about the issues. You can't talk about the advice. Excuse me? You can talk about the issues. You can't talk about the advice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
Any so, other? So was, this was, you said the area along Whitmore Lake south of Territorial, but then you're up specifically to. calling out one property? No, no. No. No, along up to Regal. So that whole area up to Regal. South to Regal, not, not a particular property. Okay. Okay. So no, any more discussion? Okay, can we have a roll call vote, please? Otto? Yes. Manley? Yes. Trackley? Yes. Bellager? Yes. Dockett? Yes. Zelina? Yes. Okay, that passes. Thank you very much. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the second call to the public. Um, we didn't have any public here for the first call to the public, but if anyone would like to come and speak at second call to the public, you're welcome to. Um, you'd have three minutes, state your name and your address, and um, you have about, uh, but we will have two more opportunities for call to the public during the regular meeting. Um, so name, address, and you have about three minutes. Thank you. That's not on. There's a little switch on the side of it. Mm -hmm. Got to slide that upwards. I see it's on the back side here. Side? Yeah, it's see there down further. There you go, right down in there. I don't think it's. No. <laughs> I still don't think it's. Is it on? No, it's not. It's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is. I can hear. Oh, it. I can you just have to talk right into it. Okay. There you go. I am Mary Beth Carlson. I reside with my husband at 444 East Northfield Church Road. Um, I am the one who reported the growing holes in the dirt road in front of our property on February 28th to the Washtenaw County Road Commission. I was impressed that within an hour, a supervisor was on my road assessing the situation. Within two hours of my call, the road was closed. That's where my high regard for expeditious response to an emergency situation ended and new concerns began. After one week of absolutely no activity on the deteriorating road, snowfall of roughly five inches on March 2nd with no snow plow in sight, Two missed garbage pickups, no mail. I, count I contacted the county to see what the timetable was on fixing the road. The woman on the phone flippantly said, oh, that culvert is a complete failure. Work won't be completed until summer. I was dumbfounded as to why it would take so long and why the inhabitants on the road were not notified. That's not our policy to notify residents. It's on our website and social media. I stated my 85-year-old neighbor doesn't use internet or social media. She said, you're not the only one with road closures. I told her that doesn't make me feel better. She explained that the county had to find the funding and then have the township agree to pay half before work would begin, but it wouldn't be until summer. We have not been plowed, cannot receive mail because the mail truck does not have four-wheel drive, have missed garbage pickups that we paid for, and are unable to get deliveries of supplies, medications, and propane to heat our homes. I drove 36 miles round trip to pick up my mail from the Pinckney Post Office yesterday. On my way home, I turned onto our road and within feet began sliding driver's side first down the road, turning northbound, almost ending up in Betty Nollers Field because I forgot to switch on my four-wheel drive. UPS has tried four times in one week to deliver a package unsuccessfully. Even after explaining the situation, yesterday they averted delivery stating the road is flooded west of the tracks and they had to back out. While it isn't flooded at the moment, it is ice and snow covered and dangerous. This is more than an inconvenience, it's a safety issue. I'm here today to tell you what a dangerous and unsafe situation the indefinite closure of our road poses. In a few weeks, we will be landlocked due to the flooding east of our home, west of the railroad tracks that occurs multiple times per year. The county has to officially close it at least once annually until the water subsides and they can regrade it. Any heavy rainfall or rapid thawing of snow causes the road to become impassable as it is two to three feet deep with water rushing over the road from south to north. There are four homes that would be landlocked at that point. Who will pay our wages when we can't get to work? And more importantly, how will emergency services get to our home if a medical or fire emergency occur? The township website asks, quote, what is blight? If potential residents or business prospects travel through the countryside and notice blight, it sends a message that, that could motivate them to go elsewhere. Quality begets quality, blight begets blight. Working to improve blight situations in your own township can make your community more attractive by maintaining property values and quality of living for residents. This, this is blight. Crumbling, ill-maintained roads throughout our township is blight. Dangerous situations for law-abiding, tax-paying inhabitants. If I told a prospective home buyer that I had to repair my vehicle every 12 to 18 months, replacing control arms, tie rods, shocks, suspensions because of the conditions of our roads, do you think that would be appealing to them? 
We can only have four-wheel drive vehicles to make it on our roads, and it is still dangerous with one. I will not hesitate to contact my attorney if something adverse occurs during this closure. As our elected board, please see your way to addressing this and any other road hazards as an emergent priority. People's lives depend on it. Thank you. Okay. Could you get your know, address I get again? Your, uh, yeah, we need, we, need, we need your address again. Name, name and address Karen again. Karen Carlson, and I'm at 444 East North Field Church Road. East, okay. Mr. Ains, can I ask you if you've followed up on this one at all yet? Yeah, I received the call on Thursday. I would immediately talked to the police safety director and he explained that right now they have access from both directions even though it's closed. I then sent an email to the county road commission to uh, Mr. Townsend and requested a response by the next day. Apparently he was not available until Tuesday afternoon. And uh, what they've told me now is they're looking into what options are involved, that they feel it also involves the township will need to put in a contribution, and that the uh, county drain commission, since it's a drainage situation, will have to also put it in. So I've asked him to notify us as soon as he has any information on what the options are, what the cost would be, and, um, and I'm in the same fix you are. I'm just waiting because, uh, you know, as you know, we call them almost daily on different issues. So, you know, they certainly know who we are and what's going on with it. But, uh, you know, I, I do think uh, once they get back to us with a, price and a timetable and the alternative, I would expect our share to be under the $5,000 limit that you allow me to go up to for improvements. So I don't think that would be a hold up. It would be a question then of how quickly can the road commission or the drain commission you know, attend to it. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll, um, I'll make a phone call too. Um, in Please get my uh, card downstairs, or you can have this one. But um, I'm happy to look into that also, see if we can get something done quickly. I mentioned on that all the board members' cards are on the counter down there. If you go down, not the police side, but the other side, they're right out on the counter for you. Okay. It took us quite a while to get the six-mile culvert repaired, but that was huge. I don't know how big yours is, and, and maybe, um, maybe if it's not so large, we can get it done quicker. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyone else like to come forward at this point? My name is Casey Viglin. I live on 46, sorry, 561 East Northfield Church Road. I'm neighbors with uh, Mary Beth okay. and my husband Joe. And your name again? Casey, C-A-S-E-Y. Okay. The last name is spelled V as in Victor, I-E-G-E-L-A-H-N as in November. Okay. Okay. Just want to echo what Mary Beth was talking about. This culvert's been out for, for some time. No problem. How's that? <clears throat> so I just want to, again, echo what Mary Beth said about the, the culvert. Everything she explained, you know, we're dealing with as well. Um, on top of what she's dealing with and Joe's dealing with, <clears throat> We're having people turn around in our in, in my driveway. A lot of strange vehicles. Um, kind of a, to me, it's a it's a safety issue at that point. I don't recognize half the vehicles that are turning around in my U-shaped driveway. So um, okay. I would highly advise that that thing get fixed as soon as possible. And one other thing, again, just to echo, when you come from east to west down Northfield Church Road, both where the current culvert is out, just uh, adjacent to the to the train tracks there's another culvert that floods so okay. if we get another you know severe rain or snow and, and, and runoff there's a good chance that's one that one's already starting to, to deteriorate we're gonna be trapped and so if you know God forbid something bad happens um, I'm not sure who's gonna be held liable but it's not mm -hmm. gonna be good because um, because emergency services are gonna have a real 
real tough time at, at, at responding. Um, so hopefully we can get through some of this bureaucracy that I just heard a little quicker. Um, I heard the word wait a couple times. I don't think that that's a good response. We just need to be diligent and, and um, if you need any help, I'd be more than willing to make phone calls, emails, write letters, let me know what you need me to do. Um, I'm here to help, not just be a, you know, a, a squeaky wheel. So okay. let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else at this time? Good evening. My name is uh, Keith Kirchhoff. I live at 6140 Dollar Road. Uh, I live at 6140 Dollar Road. I currently own two homes on Northfield Church Road. My mother is 85 years old. And she lives in one of them. Uh, we're in the process of selling the other home. I've already had to disclose that the road floods and there's only one way out. Now that's not true because once the road's flooded, there is no way out. So I tell you, I stand a chance of losing this deal. Hmm. It's a home in 60 acres. Okay. And it's by law, I have to disclose that. And I talked to the county today, supervisor at the county, and I was told it wouldn't be repaired till at least mid-June because it's a permit issue. Last time I checked, that was a county road, a county drain. Who would you have to get a permit from besides the county? Okay. And this gentleman here just mentioned that fire and safety said there is a way out both ends. That is not true. There's four concrete barriers blocking the caller. So if you head west, there, there is no way out, period. Okay. So right now you can get thank out you. to the east, but when that road floods, that's over with. All right, thank you for that information. Yeah. We'll get into May it. May I ask a question, though? Go uh, ahead. Um, who, who did you speak with at the county? Do you recall the name? Uh, Jim. Herm Harmon? Harmon. Yes. Thank Very you. Oh, if Lenore can ask, I'd like to ask something too. I'd like to tell you something. We, I, I wish we did, but we have no power over the road commission. We, we no more than you have. We're not responsible. I know you don't want to hear it. We do not fix roads. So I know you're ticked off at us, but there's nothing we can do. That's, we, I mean, you could fix it as fast as I can fix it. So. I, what do we do? I don't know, but it's not our fault. I will fix it. Okay. We will be having a meeting relatively uh, soon, I believe, um, first weekend, first meeting in May with the Road Commission uh, for our next annual plan, and so we allocate funds for those uh, for those kind of work. Uh, but I do want to know where our bad culverts are all around the township, so we will be asking for that. Um, Ms. Bellager. You know, roads is an issue that really, really irritates me. I don't, I'm not going to talk real long about it, but I'm basically going to say that we're taxed excessively in the names of roads and schools. And what do we get out of both? Okay. I'm very fed up with it. And I, um, I'm actually pretty infuriated with, with the story you have here. And there's, you're not the only, there's other little stories around the township. But I'm very, very sick of what goes on. I chewed out the commissioners in here last year. Instead of them looking for money out of us, saying, why don't you go to Lansing and get our money back? Why don't you go to the federal and get our money back? They keep taking our money, taking our money, and we all got what we got to show for it. So yeah, this, this really, really irritates me. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. OK. Um, did we have anyone else who, need, who would like to speak at Call to the Public right now? OK, seeing no one, uh, we'll move on. Um, Board member comments, I guess we've already made some, but go, go ahead, Ms. Zelnick. Yeah, I, I um, well, we are oh. at a closed session, didn't no. we? No, we didn't vote. <laughs> okay, That's we right, made our not. motion and everything, so we, we, but we didn't, we're still, we're not in the official board meeting. We're not meeting. in the we're official board we're meeting. We're still in our, um, in our, we're, we're still in our special meeting is the what special we're in. meeting not in the closed session we're not yeah. in closed session we're in but our we special can still meeting. make our board member comments about yeah that, right? and and that's the challenge is maybe we should remove some of these things from our but right anyway but we're still here right so, so do you have a board member comment you'd like to make i do so i mean i want to thank meeting. the public for bringing that to our attention mm -hmm. um 
I had an extensive conversation on a different subject with the Road Commission today, and it had to do with the removal of the trees. And I think, you know, we as government entities need to work together. You know, the response that our, our residents are getting is not adequate, not professional. And when we need to talk that, when they come to our annual meeting, if not sooner, that you're, they're voters. And you need to maybe call your um, Washtenaw County representative as well and say, you know, this is under your helm, is to make sure that they are polite to um, the residents and telling them you have to wait and all that, that's just not good enough. As Mr. Dockett has indicated, we don't have a lot of control over them because they are their own entity. But I was taken back by the conversation I had today with them on the tree, tree removal. We have to have better communication with our public and with our board. I said, I don't want to be reading about things on Facebook. I said, I want the courtesy to be told as a board member and a government official just as you are. So I think we have a way to work on communication as a whole and starting with the Road Commission because with the information received tonight from our public as well as the information and conversation I had today, it's just not good enough. And the drain commission. Yep, that we need to remember we're partners and we need to work to make sure we address issues in a professional polite manner and get results as well. So I was um, taken back a little bit today with my conversation with them. So that's I'd what like I to have. Make a, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager. Any discussion? You need to maybe, yeah. go ahead, aye. All in favor say aye. 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 Maybe you need opposed? to give the public an explanation of what's happening. To, uh, oh, we're going into our regular meeting, so you have plenty more chance to talk to us if you wanted to. This is the end of our special meeting. We had a meeting that started at 6 o'clock, well, 6.15. And um, now um, we're going to go into our regular meeting, which would have started at 7 o'clock should we have finished our special meeting on time. So, anyway.